I've definitely been growing a deeper appreciation and fondness for this ever-growing category of films. I mean, this is an ever-expanding genre. Independent movies, indie movies, I know they're kind of, they're, I, I know they're spoken about pretty synonymously with those terms. There are some slight distinctions from time to time, depending on the person you talk to, but nevertheless, it's a real, it, I think everybody would agree, wherever, however you see it. This is an ever-growing genre of films. I'm quite enjoying what I'm seeing. It's kind of funny, as I'm looking at this video, um, at the time I'm recording this, we're still in the midst of the ever-expanding, just like the indie movie field, we are right in the midst of the ever-expanding coronavirus situation. But it's very interesting, because I noticed this the other day. A lot more of the, I'm sure this is no new knowledge to anybody, most of the major studios out there, the bigger conglomerates like Warner Brothers and Disney, they've all shut their doors. They're like, no, we don't want to risk our employees or our production or anything like that. And so some movies are delayed and they've been rescheduled. Some are delayed indefinitely. Who knows when they'll get rescheduled or maybe they'll pop up on streaming. Who knows what's going to happen with that. But it's I didn't think this would happen because I thought pretty much, well, that would mean like everybody's shutting their doors, right? We've got the whole shelter in place thing going on. But I keep getting notifications from all these smaller movie studios and these other channels I follow that cover mostly indie movies or just they tend to cover most trailers out there. And I keep getting notifications that some companies out there are like, hey, they're, I don't know if this is why they're doing it, but it's a fine. There's nobody else advertising their movies. We're not going to get stomped on by Marvel or Disney or somebody else. Let's market our movie. What better time to do it, right? Everybody's paying attention. We're all online. And it's like, hey. All the other studios can't do promotions right now because <laughs> they're all delayed out for who knows when. But our movies, who knows? I mean, most of these, I, I know um, some of the small movies can go out on demand. Some go in theaters. It depends on the film specifically and then the theater you look at. But I'm seeing a lot of trailers like for independent movies. So it seems like, especially over the recent couple of weeks, there's a lot more coming out than usual. But... I mean, it just means there's more trailers for me to look at, and I can't, I can't argue with that. There's so many good films out there, but again, I'm really starting to grow and appreciate for this genre. I've definitely been watching more indie movies lately, and some independently created movies, like ones on YouTube. I've checked out this one before, and I've checked out many different indie trailers uh, on this channel, but I've definitely been looking to see more about what like, movie fans are doing out there, and I found a great film, in case you haven't heard about it before. I did cover it before. I'm Unfortunately, I've been really late to get the videos up, so I'm hoping to get these out all on the same day. But Lucid, this is a um, independently created movie from the A Squared Productions YouTube channel. It looked very interesting. Um, for the first couple trailers, I've looked at the teaser trailer and the trailer so far. We're going to look at the final trailer today. But this film's got some really good instincts. Like, if you're a big fan of superhero films, um, and I would say some sci- with us, but I wouldn't, uh, you could combine the two. I'm just trying to think of, like, is there a superhero film of a psychological... Oh, you could say the M. Night Shyamalan films are. So that, the uh, Unbreakable verse, or the glass verse, split verse, however you want to call it. Uh, um, I don't know. Everything's got a verse term these days. But if you're a fan of superhero movies and you're a fan, let's say, Inception, I definitely noticed some nods here with this project. I think you might like this. I mean, this this movie looks really good. Um, I haven't seen anything before, like I said in the last couple videos. Again, sorry I'm late on the <laughs> uploading those and publishing them, but if you guys are aware of any films that A Squared Productions has released before, I'd be happy to check them out. Just I, I haven't looked it out in the recent past, but if you know anything, if you've seen some of their productions, just send them my way. Send me some links. But I'm very excited to watch this one whenever it gets released. I'm assuming it'll probably come out on YouTube. I don't know for sure. Again, if you know that, feel free to clarify. Maybe this video will say it at, at the end. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm very interested to check it out here. I mean, it's a it's a smaller movie with some really good instincts and a killer soundtrack. I love the, the music choices so far for the show. I mean, you throw on Marvel music, it's going to be cinematic any way you look at it. And I think he chose uh, Infinity War on the last trailer. In fact, the one that was on the second trailer, I love that soundtrack. I, I love the darker tunes. I'm like, that fits really well here. But let's see what else this guy's got. I, I'm really excited to check out what this channel's producing so far. I mean, again, Lucid's... There's some good instincts, especially with the VFX. I love a lot of the VFX choices. Like, I've noticed some obvious nods to uh, Doctor Strange with the crystalline um, cracked structures. Pop, or no, well, the, the twisting buildings. Some of you could say that's Inception, too. Uh, but I think there's some very obvious references to Thor Ragnarok in terms of the lighting. You'll see what I mean in case you haven't seen this before. I would recommend before watching this video, I haven't seen the other trailers before, go check those out and maybe come back here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final trailer. I think it's ready, yes. So as always, we're gonna watch this first and I'll talk about it more in my condensed reviews while I was watching the video together. And I will also mention again as a disclaimer like I have in the past couple videos, 
If you guys want to comment down below what you guys think, that's totally fine, but I would ask that you guys send most of your comments, um, as well as your likes and your subscriptions, to A Squared Productions. Let them know what you guys think of their movie. So, don't just let me know. Let the original creators know. So without further ado, let's take a look. Send them some love, right? Here we go. A long time ago. Again, there's well, obvious Marvel fans here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you are Captain America, sure. We all know who you're like referencing. Yeah. It's a very cool logo, by the way. I had this strange dream that kept me up. I was in this warehouse with this bunch of other people. We were attached to a silver briefcase and we were all asleep. No, I you saw what you can do. It's because they're more than just electrical impulses. If you have powers, then you know you're lucid dreaming. So therefore, you know you're real. No, the people you know, they're not real. Yeah, really reality good is simple. Here. I'm very impressed. It's boring. It's disappointing. It's painful. I'm not who you think I am. We either get out together or not at all. But I'm kind of a pacifist. <laughs> we have to switch gears there. <laughs> You've come so far in such a short amount of time. It's all about belief, Noah. All that matters is that you believe in what you're truly capable of. Very impressive the VFX. Ah! But here there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. And you're about to turn your back on that? We all know what that music is. <laughs> See? A lot of Marvel tributes here. That's not bad, though. I actually like it. Okay, here we go. May 22nd. Does it say... Where? I would assume on YouTube. I think at this point that's pretty much a given. See, that looks really good. Again, I give... I think there's a lot to like here, really. I mean, I especially with the VFX work. It, it's specifically... Yeah, you, know, you see uh, blue VFX all the time. Everywhere, it, it, most movies now... Um, what was the movie I looked at recently? I mean, okay, oh, Godzilla. The new Godzilla movie, that was full of it. <laughs> and even in Marvel movies, like, but they, um, with some of the VFX, VFX work here specifically that's kind of tributing Marvel in a way. Um, you could say the speed lighting on the, I'm guessing he's the big bad of the movie. Um, that I would say is more a DC tribute with Zoom. That kind of, I was like, I've seen like the flash lighting before, even in the logo, I noticed the orange light. I'm like, I've seen that before too. Um, but obviously the lighting, the um, electricity powers and the lightning powers, it's kind of, again, referencing for Ragnarok, especially when the lightning's flowing around the, I'm guessing, well, one of the lead character's bodies and the glowing eyes, definitely a for Ragnarok tribute. But I would say there's, well, most noticeably, Four Ragnarok tributes, uh, Doctor Strange tributes, like with the Inception twisting buildings, even as Inception could also be made a reference there. Although I would lean more towards Doctor Strange because again, the broken glass fragment patterns that appear on the screen. I like the I like the team up idea here too, though. Let me see if there's anything else I really noticed, but it looks really good. Even the fight choreography too. I like some of the dialogue. Um, yeah, it has a very playful feel. I really like what I'm seeing, so I'm definitely gonna be checking out on May. When was it? 22nd, I think? Yes. I would assume, I would assume most of us probably would be too, because, you know, we're all at home, right? No better time to check it out. <laughs> well, wait, uh, heaven forbid this goes on that long, but we'll have to see. But keep your eyes peeled for whenever that, um, or on May 22nd for the release of Lucid. I think this looks really good. Again, I applaud the instincts here. I love the soundtrack choice. Uh, much darker edge. And I can't wait to see more from uh, A Square Productions in the future.
So far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. So I, I can't wait to, far, to see whatever they come up with next. But what do you guys think about Lucid? Again, I think it's a very interesting, like, Inception Marvel crossover. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Good instincts with the VFX. Uh, the VFX definitely work for me. And a lot of every good aspects of it to boot. So feel free to let me know your thoughts down below. As I said before as well, please make sure you leave your thoughts uh, with uh, Ace Square Productions. Again, if you want to leave your thoughts down here, totally fine. Do all the good stuff. The like, share, that bell. But make sure you send stuff over to Ace Squared Productions to let them know what you guys think of their movie. But until our next Ace Squared Productions film, whenever that is, I'm sure there'll be one in the future. Or whatever film we get to watch together next for the first time on this channel. I'll see you guys at that point. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless and peace.